Welcome back to the Joy of Vinyl. I'm Rick Coast. Now, buying your first turntable is difficult. You know, researching which one to buy is even more challenging, especially when there's articles, there's blog posts, and Reddit threads that praise and trash pretty much every option out there. And I get it. It happens every time I want to add to my setup. Even something as simple as searching for new tubes for my preamp right back there took me hours. But I got through it. And you will too. That's why I'm here to help. And no, I am not the expert in all things audio. Not even close. There are much smarter people than myself out there. But I can promise to steer you in the right direction and provide you with some expectations along the way. My brother recently jumped back into the world of vinyl records after a few decades of being away from it. Now, he likes to keep things simple and inexpensive. And so for his birthday about a year ago, I set him up with the Audio or with Audio Technica's LP60X. It's been a couple years now, and when I offered to give him a slightly more expensive turntable that I no longer used, he declined. He's happy with the LP60X. And if you're new to this, you will be too. Especially if you're shopping for your first turntable or an upgrade to the suitcase style all-in-one record player that you may have started out with. So, on with the review. Audio Technica began its life in Japan as a phono cartridge manufacturer in 1962. Now, they're no stranger to the audio market. In the 2000s, they ventured into turntables with a focus on making audio accessible to all without cutting back on quality. The ATLP60X, introduced in 2019 as a successor to their popular LP60, is a perfect example of their mission statement. The ATLP60X isn't short on features. The most appealing one, especially for beginners, is it's fully automatic. And this means you don't have to do anything other than place your record on the platter and hit the start button. The unit takes it from there like a happy little robot. And when the stylus reaches the end of the side, the tone arm returns to its cradle and the unit shuts itself off. If you have to answer the door during playback because your next record shipment came in and you need to pause, well, there's a button for that as well. Granted, you have to get up to do it. There's no remote to perform the action from across the room. Well, yet. But the Q button is a handy addition. The LP60's tone arm is designed to reduce vibrations and to improve tracking. It's a slight upgrade from the previous model. At the end of the tone arm is their proprietary AT3600L cartridge, fitted with an ATN3600L conical diamond tipped stylus. Try saying that three times fast. The only drawback with the tone arm setup is the cartridge is permanent. It doesn't allow for upgrades, but it does allow for stylus replacements, which I recommend doing after about 1,000 hours of playing time. It's an inexpensive replacement and it's easy to do when the time comes. While some may complain about the inability to upgrade the cartridge, that's the allure of the LP60X. It's meant to be easy to use, relatively worry-free, and focused on sound, as it should be for a quality entry-level turntable. Another thing that I like about the LP60X is that it's a belt-driven model. It was a pleasant surprise as I assumed it to be a direct drive. And why does that matter? Well, belt-driven units are typically, and I stress typically, associated with higher-end audiophile turntables. It's not an exclusive association by any means, but separating the motor from the platter has definite advantages. Belt-driven models aren't as susceptible to interference from the motor. And since we're on the subject of interference, that's another plus with the LP60X. The power supply is also external, which further reduces any unwanted disturbance. It seems the good folks at Audio-Technica thought of everything when they put this unit together. Now, while you can't upgrade the cartridge, you can upgrade everything about the sound signal after it leaves the unit. The ATLP60X comes with a built-in preamp, so you can simply connect it to a pair of powered speakers or a receiver's aux inputs. Now, if you want to experiment a little bit and upgrade to a better preamp because the, well, the LP60X's preamp is pretty basic, you can switch it off and supply your own. And if you have a receiver or an amplifier with a, a phono input, 
and you like that sound better, you can do so as well. Just make sure the LP60X's preamp is switched off, which is basically set to line. Now, none of this is meant to be confusing, and the manual does a stellar job of indicating what you need to be aware of. Another feature worth mentioning, aside from it being automatic, is the LP60X can play both 33 and a third LPs and 45 RPM singles with the flick of a switch. There's no need to manually reset the belt or reseat the belt as with higher end models, something I've never been a fan of having to do. They provide the adapter for the 45s as well, since 45s have a much larger center hole. And another upgrade over the LP60 is the RCA cable. The previous model, the LP60, came with an attached cable that couldn't be removed or replaced. The LP60X corrects this by supplying a removable one. It's a minor change, but it's an appreciated one, especially if something goes wrong with the cable. As for drawbacks, I'm happy to say there aren't many. I would be remiss, though, if I didn't mention the few that there are, at least for me, and they are admittedly minor. I've already mentioned the inability to upgrade the cartridge. There's also the platter mat. The platter itself is aluminum, and the supplied mat is felt. Now, I'm no fan of felt as it lends itself to static electricity buildup, but you can always replace the mat at a later date. I have an episode on mats if you want to check it out. The only other thing is something I also called out as being a plus, that being the RCA cable. The unit's audio output requires a cable with a 3.25 millimeter pin to RCA which Audio-Technica supplies. The cables are also easy to find if you ever need to replace it. But if it were up to me, it would be a straight RCA cable on both ends with left and right channels. Now that's a very minor thing to call out, and it really doesn't affect the sound. It's just me. Now, will you be happy with the ATLP60X? If you ask my brother, he will most definitely say yes. And I echo his sentiment. For an entry-level unit, it will exceed expectations. It's a hands-off, inexpensive solution to a great listening experience. You want to know what else you'd be happy with? How about daily vinyl record news delivered to your inbox for free? That's right. You can sign up by clicking up there. And to subscribe to this channel, click here. I have all the buttons. And until next time... Please take care of yourself and enjoy your records.